we found out that we were having a girl. And we had already decided on a name for her. We decided to name her Sarah Elizabeth. We were sitting at the dinner table, and Kayla was talking about how she's going to be the oldest yeah, in the family, and Ross is going to be the middle in the family. And yeah, we were really excited when we went in for the ultrasound. We we're going to scan the baby. You know, we checked it out. Yeah. It looked normal to me. He had came in, and um, he said they found something wrong with the baby. A large tumor coming off of the back of the baby. This is a very rare tumor. It occurs maybe one out of every 50,000 pregnancies. Is this woman a candidate for intervention from a psychological point of view and from a family point of view and all that? Can she get through this terrible thing? She understands that the baby could die. The first day was rough. I was nervous about going in, not only for me, but for her. We are confident that we can do it this time, and we're very confident that uh, we can do it without endangering you, because I know that's what he's worried about. Yeah. Scott and Celeste have the weekend to decide. We got away, we rented a car, and we drove up and down the coast. So we pretty much were prepared Monday to tell Dr. Harrison that maybe, you know, we want to do this. But on Monday, there's no longer a choice. It's really quite a substantial increase in the size of the tumor. She's now hydropic, and it probably won't last long. What does this mean? The fetal heart is failing. It means that uh, she's telling us that she can't survive this. Thing. The condition life and death. Harrison swiftly leads two surgical teams into OR. One for Celeste. I must do it. The other for the fetus. There are two lives at stake. This is what awaits Dr. Harrison inside Celeste's uterus. During the second trimester of her pregnancy, a lump began to swell near the tailbone of the unborn fetus. Over the past 30 days, the alien growth has burgeoned, drawing blood and life from the fetus, whose heart can no longer feed the giant parasite. Harrison's plan. C-section Celeste to open the uterus, then rotate and expose the fetal buttocks. Using a noose-like surgical tool, he will tie off the giant cyst, then excise it. If all goes well, the immature fetus is returned to the womb to be born when it is ready to survive. Most of the time, I would just try not to think about time. Each day that her baby remained inside Celeste improved the chance of survival. I always had my monitor turned up so I could hear Sarah's heartbeat because it's reassuring to, you know, you know she's there. Five weeks after surgery, Celeste gave birth to her little girl for the second time. Miss Lady Lace. Miss Lady. Meet Sarah Elizabeth Agius. Entirely normal and very much alive. Truly a miracle baby. Oh.